I have developed probably some of the cleanest and easiest keybinds to help you improve movement playing Apex Legends. These keybinds will help you take advantage of a very specific mechanic, which we are going to get into. And these keybinds help you with super gliding. YouTube, I hope we're having a good day. Thanks for clicking on the video. Let's get into it. So if you play Master Key, I'm sure you know you can just set your keybinds to whatever you feel is most comfortable. However, that does come with a price. Sometimes your keybinds aren't exactly the most optimal keybinds to move around the map. Maybe it's more style towards fighting. Maybe it's more style towards movement, which this is what this video is about. My original keybinds were helped more for fighting than anything else, mainly because I was very new at the game, so my mechanics wasn't very good. However, a lot of time has passed. I've become a lot better of a player, and I believe I really got to help work on my movement and changing my keybinds is going to help me do that. Now, the mechanic that we're talking about today is holstering your gun in order to slide, which is going to help you improve your overall movement as far as engaging and disengaging a specific fight. There are many top tier players that do this mechanic religiously within every fight, within every move that they make. They're pretty much holstering their gun as they run. And when they're ready to shoot and fight, that gun then comes out. Top tier players like Fade, Aceu, Timmy, and many others do this for those reasons so that they can move about very smoothly. Also, they use this mechanic to get into different tap strafes and like wall bounces and into a super glide. They use this and they tie it in to many different other mechanics, which like I said, helps you move around the map way better. This mechanic is very simple yet very important to learn. However, if you do learn it and you do get a good muscle memory for it, it's going to take your gameplay and your ability to the next level. So my original keybinds are as follows. F was originally my grenades, 3 was holster guns, Q was my primary weapon, C was my secondary weapon, and my ultimate and tactical was on my mouse buttons. Now the new keybinds and the keybinds you want to help improve your movement are as follows. And it's going to be displayed on this list of my keybinds, so if you want to pause it to copy it, go right ahead. But here it is. So F is going to be your holster weapons, 3 is going to be your grenades, Q is going back to the tactical, C is ultimate, primary weapon is going to be on the mouse buttons, which is going to be 4 and 5, so both my weapons are on my mouse buttons, and tap strafing setup, so scroll wheel up is W, scroll wheel down is jump. B was the secondary crouch button that I used to help for super gliding. Alright, so before we continue on, please make sure that you like and subscribe, and most importantly, hit that bell notification. That bell notification lets you know when every time I post a video, and most importantly, it lets you know when I go live. I realize a lot of you don't have that thing turned on, so make sure you turn that thing on. Now, the reason for these specific keybinds is to help reduce the travel time for your fingers to hit specific keys. When I was originally on three to holster my gun, I had to travel almost two full keys in order to get to the three. All right, here's a direct comparison of the old and new keybinds as far as how my finger travels around my keyboard. Originally, when I wanted to holster my gun, I would have to travel to hit three. I have to cross E to hit three, moving basically my whole hand. Now it's on F, it's right here. A nice slide of the finger. Very comfortable, very smooth, very quick. My primary gun would be on Q and my secondary gun would be on C. Now what happens with this is that when I want to pull out my gun, I have to take my finger off a movement key in order to do so, which effectively will reduce your overall movement. Now, if you look at the mouse, originally my abilities were on here. This would be my tactical, this would be my ultimate. Now my weapons are back on here so I can freely just move around the map. And if I have to pull out my gun, all I have to do is hit my mouse buttons and my gun is out, holster it, and it's just a lot smoother. Before it was holster, then maybe I got to pull a gun out quickly. It was just very awkward and I'm moving my hands all around the board and it's just, it's not very clean, it's not very easy. The new keybinds allows me to holster and pull out guns very, very simply. Okay, so a perfect example of what I'm talking about is going to be in this clip. Hey, Maggie's gonna drop down. I'm going to take shots at her. She's gonna wrap around the corner. I'm going to holster my gun and get an immediate slide jump, pull out my PK and finish her. Here's another good example of me holstering my gun to slide immediately for a disengagement. All right, real quick, here's an example of all the new keybinds with a hand cam. So primary gun, secondary gun, swap between the two, holster, grenade on three, tactical, ultimate on C. Now for the technique that we've been talking about, shooting, holster, slide. Shooting, holster, slide. All right, gonna shoot. Holster, wall bounce. Gun out. Pretty good.
two pulsar wall bounce. Boom. So those are all the different types of move mechanics that you can kind of tie into. The better you are and the more creative you are, the more crazy things we'll get. I have some hand cam gameplay so you can see exactly what these key binds look like. I've been on these binds for a week and here's how it went. Like I'm not. Oh shit! Oh, you lucky. Octane is Omega weak. These keybinds have helped my gameplay overall, which is why I'm putting this video together so it can help you guys. So I'm going to keep using them. I like them so far. I hope they help you out too. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Appreciate it.